Hey guys, so today I have a collective drugstore haul from two different trips to both Target and Ulta over like two weeks or so. And so yeah. And so yeah. So yeah. Whatever. I had too much coffee. Okay. So yeah. Can I just say it took me forever to get into the filming mode today and now that I finally am, I'm like so like I don't know, kind of hyper because I had too much coffee and um, what can I say? Yeah. So let's just jump right in before I blabber on and on. Okay. Um, while Ulta still had their triple points, I went ahead and picked up my Mario Badescu Special Cleansing Lotion C. Last time I got the milder version to be a little more gentle on my skin, but then it was kind of breaking out more. So after that was pretty much gone, I decided to go back to this one. And yeah. I like it. And I always repurchase Mario Badescu toners. And then from Target, I for the $5 off of $20 purchase, I picked up the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy Damaging Color Repair Nourishing Shampoo. I had liked this a while back, and so I decided to try it again, but now I'm not sure how well I like it now. I don't know. My hair kind of felt like weighed down when I used it so I'm not really sure if I like that now but we'll try it again and we'll see and then the Aussie three minute miracle for color treated hair I also used this a while while back and hadn't used it in a while so I decided to try it again and again I'm not sure if I like it like I did before maybe it's because my hair is longer now I'm not sure but it doesn't it seemed like I remember it being thicker and more moisturizing but I don't know if they've changed it or if that's just me. So yeah. So maybe if your hair doesn't tend to be as dry on the ends. Oh, it's dripping on me. Maybe if your hair doesn't seem to be as dry on the ends or if you don't like use a straightener on it pretty much every day, you probably like this. So it's good and it's only a couple dollars. And let me just dry off my hands now. <laughs> and my desk. Yeah. Eee. I have like a puddle over here. Okay. And then I was in need of another mattifying moisturizer. So I decided to try the Boots Botanics, Botanics Boots Botanics. I decided to try the Boots Botanics mattifying day cream. Um, I do like this. It really does help mattify my skin. Um, yeah. I like it. It was about $13.99 plus then I used that $5 off thing so it kind of divided, took off a little bit. And um, yeah, I'm liking that so far. And then from my trip to Ulta yesterday, um, I picked up the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave Conditioner. The bottle I had already was almost gone. I do really like this. And it is on sale this week. I hold that for $9.99, which is usually like $16.99. So if you can, if you've been wanting to try this, I would recommend going to Ulta this week. Um, and then um, Revlon and NYX and some other brands were 40% off. So I decided to try Revlon Mauve Night Lipstick, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I'm really glad I decided to try that. Revlon lipsticks are one of those drugstore brands that I do really enjoy because I don't have a funky smell or anything and they feel really smooth and nice on the lips. So I'm glad I decided to try Ooh, I see already. But I do really like that. And it was like $4 or something. So yeah. And then I picked up another NYX Butter Cloths, which I'm really glad they started adding this seal so you can tell that nobody has messed with it. Um, they didn't have that before. So yeah. To pick up another NYX creme brulee and then the um, infinite shadow stick also by NYX it's kind of like the jumbo shadow sticks that I always use but this one is supposed to be much more long-lasting and everything and help your shadow not crease so um, I decided to try that and see how I like it I use it today and I do really enjoy it so far it's not nearly as blendable as the jumbo shadow the jumbo shadow sticks like the one in milk that I use all the time but 
I do feel like it's gonna help my shadow last longer. So, and then I decided to stop at um, Rite Aid because I wanted to find the limited edition Wet n Wild quints, but I couldn't find them. But I found some other stuff. I did see the Wet n Wild limited edition trios, and these two caught my eye. Um, I was kind of hesitant about this orange, but then it kind of reminded me of Makeup Geek Chickadee. Chickadee? Makeup Geek Chickadee, which I don't have yet. So I thought that would be a really great way to try an orange shadow. And I am so glad I got this one. I used it today. That's what I'm wearing. Um, I used... I blended in um, the orange as my transition and then the crease color into the crease and then use the brown bone color under the brown bone and I really like it. Love it. It's like the perfect fall neutral eye and it's only $2.99 so and if you can wait until um, they have a sale on Wet n Wild then you can get it even cheaper but I was impatient and I was afraid that I was going to miss out if I waited so. I also got Standing My Campground. Um, it has a really pretty pink and then a brown crease and then kind of a peachy tannish color um, but yeah I am so glad I got this one love it if you can find this at your drugstore I would highly recommend that you do get it because it's awesome that way you hyper okay moving on I got the wet n wild mega last um, in so berry on trend I thought this was a really pretty color for fall I'm hoping I like it because now that I think about it, I don't remember having such a good experience with Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish. So I'm not sure how it's going to work for me, but hopefully I like it. And then these two um, lipsticks from the Permanent Line um, Sugar Plum Fairy 908C. I thought that would be a really pretty fall color, which this is. It's a really pretty berry. And then from the limited edition line, Bordeaux Boulevard, 34424. 344, it has kind of the matte um, packaging and it's all supposed to be a matte finish. However, these are very, very pigmented and I'm not sure if I should have gotten them. It's only $1.99 each, but still, like I have a hard time pulling off these colors. They're like very deep, so... I'm really not sure. I tried trying this on yesterday and I wiped it right back off. So I might have to like give this away or something. Like it was a great idea at the time, but really, when do I ever wear these colors? They look great on other people, but not me. What can I say? <laughs> it sounded good, but now I'm not so sure. Yeah. So if you can pull off these colors, that is Bordeaux Boulevard. It is beautiful and sugar plum berry. So yeah, they are pretty, but again, not as sure if they're for me. So that is the end of my very hyper haulage and I hope you enjoyed and be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video.